Akachika kalondo linsonga za masanyala zenobu kako wensivo kata nisokweke nenye nongo sereza muteke lirunga mientunda ya mafuta mugwanga elia petroleum supplier amendment bill bili ya bili mwesa tu governmenti mweya galira kampuni ye gwange ya yunok yuka yebele webu olukusa okwe nyigira mkusubu la mafuta galete wa mugwanga abaka kachiko kano bata desa wa oleleza wa government chilio wachuanu kakuninga anyonyole ruachi kampuni e ya vital ya wele duo lukusa okuwe ranga yefunanyi sbo kuleta kuna mafuta ngekoza sa kampuni ya yuno kuna gamba ntie nongo sirazi ya kilizo kulete wa muparlament obwa nanyi nisibu wa kampuni ya yuno nga ya dembo kola gana ne kampuni ndala yona why don't we make our law open to any ugandan company that would like to import fuel from overseas and bring it direct to Uganda without exclusively giving the right to monopoly to UNOC. As long as Vito is there and then UNOC is, is, is getting from Vito, tell me how I will go and get cheaper, cheaper, cheaper fuel from the petrol station. It's already controlled by Vito, the price. UNOC is 100% owned by the people of Uganda. So there is no law that can stop the people of Uganda from conducting business in their country, even as a monopoly. Wabulu na babaka, buwamule mede kapo ndose, na tegeza ntipasaze woko la ganane kampuni ya Vital. Kuba yuno kutei na busobose, buleta kuno mafuta. Yuno currently does not have the muscle. It has a partner it has been working on for smaller product. For how many years? Three years or something? Three years. They've been importing with them, and you have been seeing this on the balance sheet, but no one was very unhappy about the support of Vitol in making you knock some money over the years. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.